So make sure to pick up all the mushrooms on the ground, or all the good ones. Kira Kira Koa right here in a hidden chest, get that. But don't use it. Um, be aware that some of these mushrooms that you'll be using in the battle against Bowyer, um, there's a few on the ground that are fake underground, so only get the good ones. And I'm sure you know that if you jump on the Wiggler ten times, you get a frog coin. Well, ten times in a row. You can uh, jump on them to accumulate coins really quick. Um, so That first mushroom right there is the only one that's safe under here. So after you go through the first underground part, make sure you get the hidden chest right here. just has a frog coin, but that's still good. There's a lot of goodies in these, but um, they're not worth getting because there's too high a risk of getting into battle. So skip all of them. I don't think in this room there's any safe mushrooms. They're all fakes. That one's a fake too up there. I think the three I'm gonna uh, get in here are good though. So once you leave that area, you're gonna uh, remember that guy's directions from Rose Town. Well, first of all, there's a red essence here. Get that. It makes you invincible for a couple turns. Don't use it yet though. So the guy from Rose Town's directions were left, left, straight, right. So go left, then turn left again. Now go straight. Yes, even through all these bees. Then make a right. And there's your treasure. So it tried to get a little tricky there, but wasn't that hard. So let's see, you get frog coin. More coins. Oh, a flower. It's a good thing. So basically out of all of that, you got a flower and some coins, which isn't all that bad. Now you head back and follow Gino. And I think he goes the same way every time. So I think you make a right there or whatever direction that was. Yeah. Same way every time. And now this is a really, really, really long cutscene, so I'm gonna just skip straight to the battle for you. Your best attack against him is gonna be Geno Beam. Um, I know I used to be confused about the timing for this, and I know a couple other people who were too. You want to hold Y until three stars show up, and then let go. If you keep holding it after that, then you're just going to uh, do the usual amount of damage, which isn't very good. So, your first couple turns just go all special attacks on him, except for Mallow. Wow, that has some major lag. I don't mind it though because it makes the timing on that attack easier. So I usually uh, use a honey syrup on this turn with Mallow just in case he locks the X button. Let's see what he locks here. Oh, why? Well, that's okay because Gino's attack is pretty good. And the knock knock shell is pretty risky as a weapon because sometimes it does like 2 damage, sometimes it does like 10. Mallow's is more consistent, I think. Okay, that only did 6, but. I think generally, um, using Mario as a healer when the Y button's locked is a good idea. And, uh, actually, just go ahead and attack with him if there's free turns. Now back to special attacks. Oh, except when this move happens, static E. I, okay, it kills Mario in one turn, but I'd waste the entire turn healing everyone because um, 
it's more essential to keep everyone at full health in this than it is to uh, attack him. Use HP rain once in a while instead of um, mushrooms. You can mix it up a little. Don't have to waste all your mushrooms. Looks like we're just gonna heal with um, Mallow this time. Because since Y is unlocked, you want to get as much damage as you can with the jump. Sorry if I'm making this seem complicated, but it's really not. It's a pretty easy battle. Um, when the X button's locked, be cautious for how much FP you're using because you want to always make sure you have enough to use HP rain if necessary. You might be screwed here, or I might be, since um, the X button's unlocked or locked. So hopefully he unlocks it the next turn. Yep. Well, it's pretty obvious what you need to do here. These pick-me-ups, but in the order of the people's turns. Um, yeah, use a honey syrup here. Now he's just being annoying. No other way to put it. Hopefully I don't use all my pick-me-ups here. He should be running out of HP kind of soon. So don't hold back. I'm not going to. Also, the reason I've been using the uh, attack with Mallow is because Thunderbolt does like one or two damage. Alright, so there's your battle, and this is the last um, level up you can have with him. Go special on Mario, and I'm going HP on Mallow. And another long cutscene. So, Get the star, and use your flower box, then we'll all go home happy. Not sure what I pushed there. Here's your firebox, now you have 34. And you can move on.